In this video, we're going to be talking about how to graph a system of linear inequalities. So what we first want to do is we kind of want to remember how to graph just a inequality on a coordinate plane to begin with. And so that's going to take us back to one of our previous videos where we talked about our chart, our beloved, below, dotted, and solid chart. So if we have a strictly greater than or strictly less than inequality, we're going to be doing a dotted line. And if we have something with a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, the equal to is what gives us a solid line. If we have greater than, it means above, and less than means below. So because we're graphing a system now, we'll be graphing two lines. So what that might mean is that we might have something where we have a dashed line that was shaded above and a solid line that was shaded below. And our answer is going to be where we have the intersection of those two pieces, right? So this right here would be our solution because that's where we have the blue and the green. Now, we don't always have to have one that's dotted and one that's solid. We could have two dotted lines or two solid lines. Let's just do another quick example where we see two dashed lines. So I'm going to give you a dashed line here. And let's change it up, make it in a different kind of a place. Let's say that our dashed line is going this way. It's a big dashed line. There we go. There our dashed line. And perhaps we have an, an, had it shaded um, above. So we have our above. And then we have another dashed line. I'm going to do this one in orange just to show the difference of the two lines. And maybe our dashed line this time looks like this. And this one was shaded below. So here we'd be looking at this area here. And so the answer to our solution would be, where is it shaded in both places? And that answer is going to be right here. That's where we see both the blue and the green being shaded. So that would be our solution. Now to determine if a point is a solution, if we have a point out here that's on any of the colored area, that would not be a solution to our system. If we have a point that's just over here in the green, that's not going to be a solution, or just in the blue, that's not going to be a solution. It has to be something that's inside both of the colored areas. Now, if I have a solid line, it could be on the line of both of those, but it could not be on the dash line. That wouldn't work. That would not be a solution. So what do you think? Would this point be considered a solution? Yes, it's inside the place where both of our colors are, so that would be a solution. What about this point right here? Would that be a solution? Nope, that would not be a solution because that line is a dotted line, meaning anything on that line is not a solution. So how would we determine if our solution was given to us not as a point on a graph, but as an ordered pair? So in this situation, if that were to happen, and we needed to tell whether each ordered pair was a solution of the system of linear inequalities, we would need to plug in the x and the y value to both equations. So I would write down both equations, and I would take out my x and my y variables and plug in what the ordered pair says they are, and then I would work them out. So in this case, it wants to know, is 0 greater than 2? And that answer is no. So because that's a no, I don't even have to worry about this one. Because this was a no, I know that this whole thing right here is going to be not a solution. Let's take a look at letter B. So here we have our x and we have our y. So we'll write our first equation, y is less than 3. And we'll plug in. So we're going to have our y is less than 3. And we'll go ahead and we'll plug in our y variable of 1. And is 1 less than 3? And that answer is yes. So we need to work out the second equation, or the second inequality, rather, 
of y is greater than x minus 4. So we'll be plugging in our x and our y variables here. So we have a y value of 1 and an x value of negative 1. So we'll need to work this out over here. That's going to give us a negative 5. So it's asking, is 1 greater than negative 5? And that answer is yes. And so because we have a yes for both, we have a yes for both, this tells us that it is a solution. So if you're given an ordered pair, you need to plug them in to your inequalities. Both of them have to be yeses in order for it to be a solution. If even one of them is a no, the answer is no, it's not a solution.